Hi, I'm Peter Charles of Hook for Life Fly Fishing, and today we've got two Loomis rods out, uh, nine foot five weight in both cases, uh, Pro 4X models. One is the standard model, and the other one is the LP model or light presentation. And what we're going to do today is have a little shootout between them, and you can get to see uh, the differences in the actions of the rods and how they perform, and in that way you'll be able to decide which is the right one for your fishing. Okay, let's take a minute to look at rod actions. I have the standard Pro 4X model here in my hands. It has a relatively stiff tip which drives the load deep into the butt section. And that kind of action enables us to carry line easily and to cast for distance easily. This is the LP version. It has a stiffer butt section and a softer tip. That kind of action makes it easier for us to cast accurately at short range and also the soft tip will protect fine tippets. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the line I'm using. This is an older model Airflow Ridge presentation line. It's a weight forward, five weight floating model, and it is an AFTMA accurate line. In other words, it weighs in exactly 140 grains at 30 feet. I wanted to use a standard trout line for this presentation rather than an overweight line to get a more accurate representation of how the rods will perform. I think using an overweight line tends to distort these kinds of tests. So using a typical trout line in a, a shootout like this, we really get a feel for how the rods actually perform. Okay, first up is the uh, standard version of the Pro 4X 9 foot 5 weight, and I'm going to try it for accuracy and distance. I have, in my course, I have three targets laid out at 25 feet, 35 feet, and 45 feet, plus I have distance cones at 55, 65, and 75 feet. So let's see how they work. First, for accuracy at 25 feet. Now we'll go for accuracy at 35 feet. And now accuracy at 45 feet. Now that was an interesting little demonstration. What I found when I was going for accuracy is the further I cast, the easier it was to be accurate. At 25 feet, it was a bit of a tussle to get this rod to accurately load and cast the, the fly at the target. But at 35 feet and 45 feet, I didn't have trouble hitting the target at all. So it gives you an idea that this rod is better at accuracy at mid-ranges rather than short ranges. Now we're going to go for the distance cones and see how we do for distance casting. Here I'm going to double haul and uh, we'll see if we can hit uh, perhaps a 75 foot cone. So there was 55 reached with no problem whatsoever. Sixty-five feet, almost hit the cone. It gives you a good idea of the accuracy at distance with this rod. Let's go for seventy-five. No problem hitting seventy-five feet with the rod. It's quite easy. Nice light load. No problem whatsoever. It handled the line quite nicely and uh, I didn't have any trouble hauling that distance. And it was pretty accurate. It was actually uh, hitting close to the cone at 75 feet. So now let's try the LP version and see how we do. Okay, now I'm out with the light presentation version. We're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna go for 25, 35, 45 for accuracy, then 55, 65, and 75 for distance. And we'll see how this rod works. First accuracy at 25 feet. Bang on, right on the target, first try. I struggled to hit that target with the uh, regular version, and this one hit it first shot, no trouble whatsoever. Now let's go for the 35. Right off the bat, I noticed this is much easier loading at short range thanks to the soft tip. And that's pretty good. I would say it's a toss up between the two rods as to which is the most accurate at 35 feet. Definitely the LP is better at 25. 
Let's go for 45. Bang, right on. Beautiful. First shot. Hit it perfectly. Now, let's see what happens when we go for distance. The loop shape is a little open at 55 feet. Um, you can feel the difference in the two rods, the softer tip on the uh, LP versus the uh, through action of the uh, standard version. That was 65 feet, and I'm starting to feel I'm running out of gas here with it. Let's see if I can get 75. Kind of faded off there. Let's try it again. I think 75 feet is in with this rod, but I'm having to pay a little bit more attention to my casting. Whereas it was a little easier to hit distance. There we go, 75 feet. So the rod will do it if you need to shoot for distance. The standard version is easier at 75 feet, but the LP version can hit that distance if you need to. Just have to pay a little bit more attention with the softer tip. Okay, let's get the light presentation model out on the uh, river and see how it does. Here I'm in a little creek, kind of tight confines, and I'm casting a dry fly into a little run and see if I can pick up a small trout. At these distances the rod loads very, very easily. It's quite accurate and I have no trouble picking out the seam that I want to hit. The easy casting nature of this rod at such short distances allows me to concentrate on the fishing and not have to worry about the casting or the accuracy. It's just very, very easy. Here I'm working back down the run using a wet fly and I'm just using little uh, gentle spay casts, single spays, to reposition a wet fly. And as you can see at these distances, even when casting a standard trout line, the rod has no trouble putting out an accurate spay cast. Okay, I'm out here on this little creek nymphing with the standard Pro 4X 5 weight. And I prefer to use a rod like this for nymphing, a rod that has a stiffer tip. Because when I need to uh, set a hook on a fish, the stiffer tip will allow me to move line quickly. If I had a softer tip, the tip would just bend and I wouldn't be able to move the line as quickly. Oh, that was a fish. So with a stiffer tipped rod, we're able to uh, manage slack better, uh, manage the hook set better, move line quickly, and it gives us more control over uh, what our indicator and our fly is doing. If the tip of the rod is too soft, it can be a bit tricky to set the hook sometimes because then the tip just bends instead of the hook being set. Okay, one of the benefits of the standard uh, Pro 4X rod action is it allows you to make an easy pickup of a sinking line. Yeah, we wouldn't normally think we could pick a 36 foot head out of the water like that, but no problem. One back cast, one forward cast, and away I go. So, double spay. Get my change of direction going. Boom. Bay. into the back cast, into the double haul, right across the run. So G. Loomis has our fly rod needs covered, whether we need to cast a dry fly accurately and delicately, work a small wet through a run, handle a nymph rig, or cast a big streamer a long, long way on a big river. The Pro 4X standard and LP models have our fishing needs covered.